The last few weeks you've seen the garage from only a few select angles and not over there because that's where I've been working on my expanding table kit prototype. The goal for this is to have a mechanical kit for the expanding table. This is a kit that someone could buy if they want to build their own and it'll have all the mechanical parts wrapped up and ready to go. What they would need to do is to add the top panels and the skirts and the bottom covers and things like that and that allows both of us to specialize in what we are good at. I can do the mechanical end and then they can customize it to what they want rather than trying to communicate back and forth with me, trying to ship nice finished panels, things like that. This will make it more accessible. Uh, the other expanding table is kind of too large and bulky to ship for people who want pre-built and for people who want to build their own, you know, maybe kind of intimidating on the time and skill requirement ends. So this is something where you could buy it and it would just appear uh, broken down so it would have the ability to be shipped easily, but it would be ready to go. You'd assemble it, do some double checks in the alignment, and you're off to the races. I'll also note that I'm happy to do whatever works. So if people want completed tables, you know, if the market's there, I'll do it. So for this though, But for the dimensions, it starts out at four feet in diameter circular. And then when you make it large, this particular configuration is gonna to go to five feet on the long dimension, which is from here to there. It's a little bit less than five feet here. And this gives you a 50% increase in surface area. I'll talk a little bit more about the circular versus not circular later, but those are the dimensions for the top. The thickness, from the top of the main panel to the bottom of the bottom cover is going to be five and a quarter inches. The weight of the mechanism itself, the part that would actually be shipped, is looking to be about a hundred pounds. That doesn't include the top panels, that's just the mechanism. For leg room and things like that, I designed it to be comfortable for my leg room requirements and I have larger leg room requirements than the average person, I'm six feet four. So I figured if it's good enough for me, it's probably good enough for 99% of the rest of the population. All of these are subject to adjustment later, of course, if they need to be. This is just a prototype, so that's what I use to get going. The basic design for this thing is, uh, I think, fairly simple, but may look more complicated. So in any case, let's go. You have a bottom plate on the bottom, which I forgot to mention. So the idea is that you have the panels on the top and then on the bottom you have a plate and that's your interface to whatever sort of leg system that you choose to design. So we start with that bottom plate. You have a spindle that comes up from there. There are two sets of bearings on it. And then you have a hub and that hub has two pieces on it. An inner one which goes around the bearings and then an outer one to which the main arms attach. And then there's a raising hub which goes on the outside of this previous two-part hub that I talked about. That's what goes up and down and holds the arms that go up and down. And the mechanism for the star is contained in that empty space of the first hub on the inside. Obviously I've designed this very carefully. I made it as adjustable as possible on all different areas. Things like these panels. We have adjustment plates with set screws and things so you can level them. You can have side to side if it needs adjustment that way. The height of the star is adjustable with a screwdriver going in here. The alignment of the star is adjustable also. I've put a lot of effort into this. For parts that are not custom made, like the bearings, I tried to use common parts. This is actually using wheel bearings from an F350. They didn't actually come out of an F350, but that's what they are originally designed for. And by going with automotive parts, they're affordable, they're available, and they're good quality.
and the frame is primarily aluminum that gives me inherent corrosion resistance it's also a little bit easier to cut but it's harder to weld overall i felt it's also lighter uh, overall i felt like uh, aluminum was the way to go it has a certain sheen also it just looks nice even when it's just the bare metal all this took a, quite a bit of time i've spent four months working on this project but the thing with that four months figure is it also includes teaching myself machining and welding so I put all this time and effort and money into this project, months as I said in the time end, and thousands of dollars of my own money. Well, it seems like a business opportunity, so that's why I'm pursuing it. If it works out, it will be good for me, it will be good for my family. I've gotten enough views and inquiries about pre-built tables and other things that I decided to, to go for it. So if all else fails, it's a good experience, and it's a skill demonstration, and I've learned a lot of things but I really hope that it could succeed on the primary objective. For right now, I'm focusing on this basic design, which is the same as the other table, where you have a circle at the beginning and the skirt is underneath. The other option is to have a skirt which comes up on the outside so that it's faceted when it's small, meaning that your radius is larger than it should be, so it comes in like this. And the issue with that is to make it circular and then when it's small, the skirt has to come up around the outside. In order to do that, the top part of the skirt has to come straight up and down, whereas the bottom part has to rotate, so you need a two-piece skirt. And in addition to that, the skirt here starts out on the bottom of the main panels and goes below to let the raising ones come out and then up. Those raising ones still need to come out and up, even if the skirt is up here. So now the skirt needs to go down twice as far, so we have more skirt mechanism and more room that's needed also for the ramps and things, so that gets more difficult. Uh, but I've left myself room to do that. So I've been thinking ahead, and I'm... I'll just say that I've left myself room, like physical room and uh, engineering-wise also. So I have, pre I have preparations for that sort of thing if it uh, becomes something that people want. I've also left myself room for a six-piece design. Some people, I guess four isn't good enough, we need six. So it would, the, uh, the same things would apply for the six one. You could do it like this with six pieces or you could do it with a two piece skirt. There's a lot of options there, but both of those are definitely possible. And this basic strategy should work for all of those. I spent quite a bit of time looking at these options also. I'm gonna have a, a video after this one, which is the development video, because I know a lot of my subscribers love hearing about all the the dead ends and the gory details on mistakes and things like that. I have a shelf full of full of uh, other strategies which didn't work out. That's part of the four months also. For the actual progress of the table itself though, I'm gonna have a prototype series. I've really come to the uh, conclusion that most projects require three versions to get to a final product. The first one is a prototype like this. It's ugly. It needs a lot of revisions, but it just it just gets it done. You make a lot of notes. Then you build the second one. The second one is basically what you want, but has a lot of things that could be fine-tuned just a little bit. So we're going to be building that second one, and I'm going to bring you along with me. It's hard to document and think at the same time, so I've gotten that out of the way with this one. The next one will be mostly building. You can follow through through the next few weeks as I build the, the second prototype version. So thank you for watching. Uh, please share if you think it's cool what I'm trying to do here. The way that you can help me is to get the word out, subscribe, share it with your friends, discuss it with people. You know, if anybody you know might be interested, I'll put my email down in the description box and hope to hear from you. So thanks a lot and look for the next video in the next day or two.